Hi guys, it's me again and today I'm gonna show you how to cook kinzin. It sounds a little bit complicated but it's really easy and I'm gonna show you in a, in a really easy way how to do it. So the basic ingredients it's uh, we're gonna need some egg yolks, we're going to use some sugar, some coconut milk, some grated coconut, the dry one, uh, some vanilla, could be powder or could be the, the liquid one, the, the things. And this, uh, this special ingredient, today it's caipirinha. Oh, you're gonna mix caipirinha with the kinji? No, we're gonna drink it when we cook it. <laughs> and cheers. Saúde! So guys, uh, for this recipe, we, we're going to use 15 eggs, but just, just the yolk, okay? So we're gonna separate the yolk, as you can see here. Come here, please. <laughs> we're gonna separate the yolk, and, uh, and the, white, the white one, you can, you can froze. And, uh, can you look at me now, please? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, and the, the white part you can froze and use another day for omelettes or for another dessert that I'm gonna show you guys soon how to do it a really nice dessert with the uh, with the white part. Okay. Uh, so the first thing is separate the the yolk from the whites. Mm. So guys, there is a little trick here. This is not just for this dessert, but all the desserts that you're gonna make it with uh, with eggs, especially with uh, egg yolk. You're gonna put it in a, in a kitchen sieve. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. You put the yolks here and you break it with a with a, a fork. And you let it run out. Uh, don't don't scramble. It's gonna take a little time, but there is this uh, little skin in the egg. That this skin, if you don't take it off, uh, now you, uh, yeah, it's too much. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you laugh! Come on. Okay. Uh, if you don't take it off this skin it's what gonna make your dessert smell eggs so this is really important for you have like a nice dessert without the the eggs uh, the, the smell of eggs okay come here please so guys uh basically this all this part here is the part that we don't need from the eggs that uh that really gives the, the smell. So it's the skin, uh, and we have a little bit those white parts. And this is what we're gonna use, all right? Now we're gonna, we're gonna mix the sugar with the, the yolks. As a reference, we're gonna use half, half cup of sugar, okay? Uh, So we're gonna add to the to the yolks, come and with with a whisk, we're gonna we're gonna scramble for like three four minutes like this. Not hard, but just just like this, okay. So now we're gonna mix the coconut milk and as a reference again we're gonna use half cup of the coconut milk we're gonna add here okay and with a with a soup spoon we're gonna put it five five spoons of coconut 
Inside one, dois, três, quatro, cinco. Five spoons of coconut, uh, the grated coconut. And once again, we're gonna whisk. Oh, I almost forgot. With at this time, we're gonna use the vanilla. If it is the the liquid vanilla, just a little a little spoon, like a cough spoon, of the liquid. If the the powder is 0.5 grams each one, you can use it one one little bag. It's fine of this or one spoon of vanilla. And we're gonna mix again with the whisk. Okay. Oops. Yeah. There we go. Usually, uh, for this dessert, we use the, the round containers, like the, the round one for the cakes, but they don't have it here. And as everything's closed because of the Corona, I'm gonna use what we have here. So I'm gonna use this squat one. It's not how it's supposed to look like, but after I put a picture, how it's supposed to look like. But it but I'm gonna show the basic. What what I'm gonna do here? Uh, you should do it in the in the in the round uh, cake container as well. So we're gonna have a little bit of butter. And come with on the this container that and uh, but. This is the first step, so put, put the butter in all, all the container and then we're gonna put some sugar and with the sugar we're gonna cover all the container, the, the parts that we put it, the, the butter because it's, it's gonna stick. See, Stick. we're gonna take the, the rest of the sugar. And this is what we need. Now, we're going to put the, this mix in the, in the container. And as I said, uh, we're gonna cook in Bai Mahi. If you don't know what is it, uh, basically, we're gonna bake this, but in another container, with the water, you don't have to cover. So what we, we're gonna do it? The oven is preheated. It's 180 degrees. We're gonna put it here, and we're gonna fill this container here and just yeah uh, with hot water. And that's how we're gonna cook. Just. You, you, you don't have to fold the container. Just just half of container with the water, it's it's perfect. And we're gonna cook. I'm not sure yet because I never cooked it in this oven before, but uh, I believe 40 minutes would be enough. Okay? So guys, uh, took it 40 minutes in 180 degrees. Yeah, it's cooked, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys now how it's look like. Okay. It's come, 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 come. Let's see. Okay, yeah, there we go. So it's it's a little bit flat, but the color it's exactly how it should look like, and should be like a little bit like taller, because of course if it was a round a round uh, container would be taller. But yeah, that how it should look like. <laughs> 
so it's ready uh, I left for two hours actually it was more than two hours in the fridge uh, and I'm gonna cut and let's try it as I said uh, th this is not the, the shape that should look like but it should look like this color and everything else plus should be like taller but let's let's try now mmm yeah exactly that but taller and enjoy it let's see Mmm, mmm.